In the 608 this morning, we have a way that you can celebrate the summer season. All right, our Josh Spider is live in Prairie de Sac with the story. Good morning, Josh. Hey guys, good morning. We're live at one of my favorite places, Wollersheim Winery, this morning for good reason. We're talking about their Summer Serenade Series, and tomorrow night is your next chance to check it out here. They've got extended hours for you to enjoy. Philippe Cocard himself is up early with us this morning. Philippe, good morning. Good morning. Pleasure to have you here. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for waking up early, and thanks for having us inside this beautiful, beautifully new renovated space here. Yes, we spent all, all the spring remodeling the bistro brand new space easier service we just love the way it looks yes this looks incredible and this is one of the opportunities for people to be able to come out and check out the new space for the summer serenades yes absolutely we will have extended hours until seven we have food music friends wine spirits cocktails it should be a fun time. You know, how has business been this summer for you so far? It's been really good. You know, summer has been good. Summer has been very, very dry, but we are happy to see a lot of people come and enjoy the place. Yeah, speaking of that dryness out here, you're super happy with the rain that you got yesterday. Yes, it was a godsend. We, we got two and a half inches of rain, and we hadn't had rain since May 8th, and we've been spending a lot of time doing drip irrigation, but... It was getting severe, so we are so happy to have the rain. Oh, I'm sure. When you think of what you have to do, you need mm -hmm. to have the rain. Uh, li like every farmer, you know, we deal with the weather every day. It's no different than corn, soybean, hay, and everything. So. Well, let's talk a little mm -hmm. bit about summer serenades. You know, where did this idea come from, and what's really the reason behind it? Well, you know, we wanted to uh, uh, showcase the place, the beauty of the place, especially later in the day. Uh, we usually close at 5 p.m., so being open until 7, it gives a, a different look to the place. And uh, music, food, and wine go together. So They sure do. Uh, so what can people expect here tomorrow? Um, uh, we have two bands, one up here at the cave, at the winery, one at the distillery. And it's, it's so interesting. They don't even compete with each other. So you can go from one place to the other, enjoy different kind of music. Uh, food is served here at the bistro, cocktails at the winery, wine, wine tasting, and so on. So you can use the place. You can bring a chair if you wanted to, blanket if you wanted to, but we should have a lot of tables and chairs for everybody. So. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. And, of course, if people can't make it tomorrow, you still have one more opportunity in August. Yes, uh, August 11th. Wonderful. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, this is a good chance for folks to come out and yeah. check out what you have going on out here. It will be great. Yeah. Well, thank you yeah. so much, Philippe. Thank we you. appreciate your yeah. time here this morning. Of course, I have all this up on channel3000.com. Looks like the weather is going to be nice just in time for this, guys. Tomorrow, a little misty out here in Prairie du Sac, so we're hoping to get outside and uh, show you some of those beautiful, spectacular views that make Wollersheim as special as it is. Oh, and they are spectacular. Looking forward to that, Josh. Hope it clears up. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Josh. Hey, remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. You can reach out on social media or email him for a chance to be featured.